just about out of these grass blocks. I wonder where Squishy's at. Squishy, you got them grass blocks that I was asking about earlier? <laughs> the heck is he? Squishy, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Divide and conquer. I mean, I told you we needed a little spot dug out for storage, but you went a whole out, dude. <laughs> well, what was I supposed to do with all you, all you squishies now? Oh, polymer. Okay, I get it. I get it. So have you been making polymer? Well, you working on it? Okay. I. I I don't even know which squishy to pick up now. I guess I'll just let you guys do, okay? Uh, so yeah, squishy and I was talking about a little bit of storage, guys. He, he kind of went crazy here, but this is going to be a nice little spot. I've been working a lot on grass. Where do you said uh, the grass was, buddy? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Good. Thank you. Um, we I've been working a good little bit on the front lawn now that we can create grass blocks using dirt and thatch we've got a nice little spread here and i wanted to make it real nice and flat so we can really work with getting a farm set up out here it kind of worries me that this biome is set up the way it is and we get a little pass through traffic but I haven't experienced that many attacks down here, and I think honestly maybe a little bit of fence ought to keep it to where things can't get us. Wow. So I just want to finish up. These grass blocks look really, really good when you do this. Now, I realize that any type of farming is going to need a little bit of irrigation, right? Wow. So what I want to do is run some pipes, and last uh, season, excuse me? <laughs> last, se last season oh my god these things are such a pest man that's the only bad thing about kind of having this set up the way it is that animals just get all over the place and when it's when it's uh, when it's indoors i seem to have less problem uh oh we broke our sword man oh now i'm messing up all my grass and stuff hold on hold on hold on buddy Oh, that's some sleepy arrows I'm firing. Well, it still does the job. Anyway, I I got to the point to where I was digging enough, and Squishy was digging enough, and I decided instead of all that, we're going to get it to where we don't really have to mess with it, and we're just going to have a nice little clean area. See, the last season that we played, we didn't really have the ability to do much with grass. And once you kind of took away the the grass with a pickaxe or a drill or whatever it was gone there was nothing you could do about it and it looked very very unsightly it was just dirt and stuff all over the place but with this setup and the construction hut you can make it real real clean and make your lawn look nice and who doesn't like a nice lawn it's even the color of squishy <laughs> i know so look at this it's a nice little spread we can get a little fenced area going on and possibly put together a little bit of crops or whatever so i'm gonna work on putting some fence down i, I, I believe we did put some of this stone fence together it's really really cheap to make and it, and it crafts pretty quick too so let's see we have like 400 of it i don't know if i'm gonna make it too tall or oh. or what the case may be but we're gonna get it to where it can block out some of the pests and i think we're gonna make it starting with the end right here so let's grab it and put it in our hot bar and we'll do like um yeah we'll, we'll start just right here okay and we're going to have to make it come up a little bit. Oh, that's kind of weird. It's just going to pivot like that the whole time? It does. So you have to... The, the second one... The second one kind of just wants to go on top of it. That's weird. But we can pick it up. It's not that much of a problem. Uh, so let's see. If I press that and we're just going to have to rotate like this... It, it wants to rotate sometimes, but... Huh. Well, that's... That's... Bu uh, yeah, I know, buddy. That's bizarre. And it's not going to help that we have 
these trolley dinos everywhere around. But I think two high fence all the way around might help keep some of that at bay. I'm really not sure, but there's only one way to find out. So we'll line this up real good and um, and kind of give a perimeter around and see where we're at with it. All right, little buddy. We got our fence put down. It didn't take too long despite the way that things kind of just landed weird. And I, I installed these corner posts too because there's really no fence posts. I know, that's kind of weird. It's no no fence corners. Not not with the, the regular stone stuff, at least. Maybe some of the more advanced stuff that we haven't got blueprints for. But we'll have to go on adventures to get that into the dungeons and stuff. Uh, what I think I'm going to do, Squishy, I started messing around with a little bit of irrigation. Yeah. I put a pipe down just to see how it kind of worked. And I, th I was thinking I was going to go underground. But I went on the ground last time, uh, last season. And I mean, it does look nice, but if we had the sprinkler system kind of set up around the top, I think it might look cool too. Just like, it'd be, it'd be a little bit more industrial looking, but it might look kind of nice. So what I want to do is just run some pipe and we'll see. If we don't like it, we'll take it down. I also made some sprinklers, but they don't seem to have a real impact on the actual, well, the 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 water <laughs> for the seeds i know it's like the irrigation goes to a point to where it's just like if you put a tap down it recognizes that there's water around but it doesn't recognize if there's water around at a sprinkler i don't know if, the, if that's for sure okay we and we want to go we don't want to go too far in i mean we could go down the sides and see how it goes too but Let's uh let's just stop right here for a moment, okay? So now that we have we we have this, we'll put some taps down. And I think we'll start out with let's see, I think the tap range for the stone are like three, and we can always change these out as well, right? So that looks like it just points straight down. That's good. And are we skipping like that? Two, three, one, two, three, up. Oh messed up there can i just pull that away and there okay so i should be able to pull that away huh well let's drink some water first and then we can demolish it okay perfect they only cost one stone a piece so that looks that looks pretty good the way that worked out so let's see if we can plant our little crops down here Let's start with a berry just to test it out because we have plenty of those. Okay, so it says it's irrigated. Very nice. All right, and if we moved down to here, these also have irrigated, right? Okay, what about two to the right? Because it says range of three, so I'm just trying to make sure. It says irrigated. What about one more? Irrigate. Okay, so basically we could go three out away from this deal well that's that's not a bad deal at all honestly wow. so we can go with a five by five plot per sprinkler and we'll be in a very very good situation wow. very good that's gonna be a lot of berries right there so, okay that's fine we can actually go bigger than that but we kind of want it to be symmetrical right so we'll get uh we'll we'll line up berries all along this run and just make this our berry patch and we'll play around with the logistics of the other pipe intakes because there's no T's. like you can't you can't make it cross up so you have to run a separate pipe for each intake as far as i know i don't know we'll plant some more berries and see how it looks in a little bit well that's the entire length of berry squishy except for the berries that we haven't found yet in other biomes i think there's gray green and orange if i'm not mistaken wow. so that'll we, we can plant some of those later or we could do another row now the lo the logistics for the vegetables we can run this last pipe over here all the way down that way and it'll be the same thing so let's uh let's make it go just as high as this one and i, I haven't decided yet if i'm gonna run the pipes over the center or whatever, or maybe do a little bit of plants underneath the ground. But as far as we want now, it's just going to be for vegetables. So uh, on the on the other side. So let's grab all of those pipes that we had before. We're going to have to make some new taps and some more pipes as well. But we'll start right here. So uh, let's do it up right here. And I think we went like one, two, three, four, five high. Ah. All right, buddy, we got the pipe stretched out for the vegetables now. We'll go ahead and start placing the taps. I think we started 
on the third block in. Okay, we're gonna try to keep it all symmetrical, all right? Wow. So, if we go, this is the first block in, this is the second block in, and the third block in. And we skip two, and place another. Skip two, place another. Yeah, this is gonna work out really, really good, buddy. Da, 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 all right, now that all the taps are installed, let's go ahead and clear the thatch out. We'll need that for some soil at some point anyway. And we can start placing our vegetable seeds down. And I'm pretty sure they kind of go the same way, right? Let's go with, um, well, not wheat first. Let's try these. Well, what do what these plants look like? How about, how about these first? <laughs> How about these first? <laughs> there we go. Three, four, five. Okay, and then I, I did go all the way to the fence with these, right? Oh, these are already, already up. Oh, this looks great, man. Yeah, I went all the way to the fence with this. So we're gonna go ahead and plant five by five of these as well. And the citronel at last. And we're a little bit short on a couple of the seeds, but we can get some more with the triceratops. It's not that big of a deal. We'll have a good little spot. And you know, an Iguanodon, if I'm not mistaken, can make seeds in their inventory. At least they can with Ark. So we might be able to do something with the Iguanodons now that they're in uh, Pixark. But look at that. That's a nice little setup on both sides. So with our leftover space, we could even do some trees or some different kind of plants. And we have to remember with magic berries too. Magic berries, they have, uh, well, they, they need special soil. And so do... The trees, the they they need that magic soil in order to grow. So we're gonna have to figure out a little way to do that. And also, I think I'm gonna use some of this to, uh, this place here to to put out a little path, just to make it look kind of base like and cute courtyard like. Maybe I'll put some of the stone pathing all around on the inside right here as so make a little centerpiece you know what i mean and uh and make a little design out of it what do you think about that <laughs> yeah i did this a few times my friend <laughs> i know it'll make you dizzy if you don't focus but the, the the good thing is is we only have this last path to do and yeah i miss one every once in a while <laughs> but I mean, I played a lot of Minecraft a long time ago, Squishy, and that's that's basically where it originates from. All of this pl block place and skill I got. Wow. We almost in the home stretch, buddy. And it looks like some of our plants are starting to come up now. If I remember correctly, the trikes harvest pretty darn good, but there's also stegosauruses that we're gonna have to check too. If I remember correctly, one of them does seeds better. I think oh. and we also gonna have to watch out we got that's a that's a Rex up there too man. Uh, let's see do I have any more of those floors that I can make yeah we're gonna make I don't know another 50 or so we're using these because they th to me they look a little bit more rough than the regular ones uh, than the fine ones I mean and those are more like for an interior look where this is a little bit more of an exterior look and I kind of like I kind of like that I'm gonna I'm gonna pull these out in fact and change them out wow. and we can also do like some little wooden inserts here and there too I think that would look pretty good but for now we want to keep all of this in the same pattern this outside pattern I think that is gonna look really really good now I thought about putting a centerpiece in the courtyard okay but hear me out it's not square squishy <laughs> you see where the, the entrance is not square so I mean we can do that but it would take away from like the natural design that it already is so I don't think that's really a necessity we could do like a little centerpiece in the courtyard here with like a little fountain and we'll just keep the the pathing, I guess, square like that. What, how does that sound? Wow. All right. So as far as the 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 sprinkler system goes, or the the fountain goes, we could do a center fountain right here. We just kind of have to measure out what's what. It looks like I forgot a stone over here. We gotta kind of measure out what's what and irrigate it all the way underwater to where it would actually be able to be placed. Now. I don't exactly know how these sprinklers work. Oh. Outside, I know that you can pass 
through it. Like, you can pass water through it. So what about if we found the center block and dug all the way to the water and see what happens, huh? I think we're getting really close to the water based on the amount of clay that's around here, man. What do you think? Let's go a little bit further. There it is. Okay, so we should be able to place an intake somewhere around here. Heck, probably just like right here, I think, would be a good spot for an intake. Um, does it work just like that? Like, we can... Oh, yeah, that's all water. That's definitely all water. Okay, so what about if we put a grass block down and we take an intake pipe? Yeah, it looks like it's just going to place right here, buddy. All right, now we can actually feed our pipe all the way down and come up with a sprinkler head. All right, just about there, bud. And we need to come up like so. Well, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Like that. And then like that. And then like that. All right, now to get out of here. We're gonna have to break a little bit of grass in order to do this correctly. Uh oh. I heard some growling. You gotta be careful when, when you hear growling like that, Squishy. You never know what's lurking around. Okay, let's put these, and I think we'll be able to. Wait, hold on. I think what we gotta do is like this. Let's let's hold to demolish this. We'll put a piece of grass. right there and then we'll put a foundation on top of it okay now we're gonna destroy the piece of grass i know this is weird but just hear me out okay and then we put this pipe and then we put another pipe well that might not work i think we could just still put the pipe right here though no, that doesn't work like that. What about maybe a ceiling? Can we just place the sprinkler right on the pipe? I think the, the, the sprinkler needs a base pipe. Oh. I think that's how it works. Let's try it. Yeah, you see, it needs to sit on something. Oh. So what we can do, yeah, I guess we could just destroy this. Okay. And we can put a piece of grass block down. And then we can take this and put it down and then break this and then connect the pipe is that gonna work yeah you see it's not it has to be placed on the end it looks like well that's a pretty good idea bud are you saying that we can just do something like put the sprinkler underneath the ground i i kind of like the the sound of that okay so let's take our bendy pipe wherever that is Okay, and we'll make it go through, oh, you can make it go through the ground, I see. Move it, move it, sucker. Look, I got a new bone sword to try out on you. Ooh, this thing hits hard, Squishy. Yeah, pretty good, man. Pretty good. Okay, so where were we, man? So, let's see. If we... you saying that we could just put it right here instead. And then maybe, like, put a ceiling on top of it or something? You know, it works with the curved pipes, not the straight pipes. Ah, that seems a little bit peculiar. So how do we know which way it's going to connect is my thing. And can we place this once we already put it down? So if we just place it like this... Can we place this block on top? No, it has to be done before. Well, that's so weird. All right, so let's take this off. And if we place this, it's going. we're going to have to press Q three times, okay? So let's go with this and place this and Q three times. One, two, three. All right, now we should be able to place a straight pipe right there. That works out, good. But will it pipe 
will it work here? Let's put a piece of grass and find out. Aha! It works, Squishy, it works! Okay, now let's cover up this with grass. And we could do like a little fountain type deal. Now, we could turn up the uh, the water intensity on this thing and make it go a little bit higher. There we go. And now we would just have to craft like a little fountain. We could do that with stairs maybe, huh? Oh, a marble fountain. That's a great idea, buddy. All right, so we've got marble ceilings, marble handrails, marble foundations, marble stairs, and marble walls. I think the marble stairs are going to be pretty good. We can only make it at the workbench, but we harvested a little bit of marble, so this should work out. And let's try a few things here. Let's go with structures, and we can even do some glass stuff, but let's do a bit of stairs at least. Let's see, at least eight? No, not, yeah, at least eight. All right, and then we'll do some marble foundations. We'll do a set of nine of those. We'll do some ceilings. And we'll also do some rails and some walls. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's see what we can design now. All right, so oddly enough, we have to do some weird stuff right here in order to keep this thing connected. The first thing that we're gonna do is put up a wall on top of this foundation, okay? We're gonna put a wall on top of the foundation and now we can put a ceiling down, all right? This is gonna allow us to kind of go around. Now, why can't I place that here? Is it because of that pipe in the way? That might cause some problems here. Can I place it now? Okay, that fits good now. Good, they can go all the way around. At, well, at least we have at least we have a base done now. Okay, now we have the marble connected. It was so weird because we have to use the ceilings here as foundations, and we didn't have to. But if there was any gaps outside of it, I wanted. To, to make sure that the bottom was marble so, and and that we could do some handrails as well. Okay, so let's pivot these around and you can actually make, oh, this is gonna be really, really cool. So, hey, get out of here, everybody. Why are y'all exactly where I wanna work and you just gonna sit down right here? Get out of here. Sheesh, man. You too. <laughs> get out of the work area. Turkey, I'm warning you, don't you try it. Okay, man, this looks like a big old knife, huh? All right, so we can turn these, we can take these stairs and we could do like a little bit of a, yeah, like a little surrounding deal, huh? It's hard to tell exactly the way they're positioned. I think that looks good right there, okay? And we can shift this around like so, like so, and like so, all right, now we can either do the stairs inside or we can do the rails. Let's take let's take a look at what the rails look like, huh? The the marble handrails. It would just be like a little fence, and we can easily we could probably put. Oh no, they can't support. I was gonna say it might look cool if you could do that like on top or whatever, but it doesn't look like you can. Uh oh, we got trouble over here. Inside of my play, they're gonna mess up my gates and stuff too. Oh, okay, hold on a second. We're gonna fix all of this mess. We're gonna fix all. Relax, Squishy. Don't worry. We're gonna take care of it. We're gonna take care of it, Sandy. Sandy, we need you. We need you, dear. Alrighty. And do I have my uh, my Carno saddle on me? I do. Good. Um, there we go. All righty. Uh, 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 uh. The heck's going on out here now? Uh. 
I know, Squishy. I guess they're scared. You know, we're gonna keep Sandy out here for now, just in case. We hadn't had trouble like that up until now. I wonder if they damaged anything over here. Doesn't look like it. How weird. All right. Well, anyway, we're back with uh, the fountain. Uh, <laughs> the fountain deal. That's okay. So I think the stairs all the way around is gonna be the the good way to go here. I could have done it like this too. You know, to make like a little to make it inverted but this uh, and actually this looks pretty good and what happens if I would just place some of the uh, uh, some of the handrails around it do they join or anything if I do that not really huh oh what happens if I switch it up maybe okay hold on shift to destroy if i do ah if you cue it enough it works what <sighs> about that i could have done that with the fence corners too i guess okay well you guys were probably yelling at me in the comments about it too <laughs> and we put the very last rail up and voila we have it now i don't know if i could actually block this thing with something I kind of thought about putting something in the way just to see if it would work, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the way the fountain came out. I could reverse the blocks to make it look a little bit more uh, cylindrical, I guess. Let's try that just to see. Not a cylinder, but like more like a spout, right? So if we took the stairs and I placed them right side out like this. Like you just climb into it and we can actually configure the outsides like that too. That's a more traditional look. I kind of like the inverted look, but to tell you the truth, I think this suits it better for a fountain. It, it looks like you could fall in there and get trapped too, but that's a, that's a nice looking fountain if I ever saw one, don't you think, Squishy? <laughs> I really like the way that came out. I could, uh, if we could do the upside down stairs like you could in Minecraft, I could do some more fun stuff with it. But honestly, I think it looks very, very good like this. It's not as tall as I would like it, but I might raise it up a little bit just to give it a little bit more, uh, I guess, of a majestic feel. But I love the way the courtyard's turning out. We got our little, our little crops growing and stuff like that. We could harvest them with the trike if we wanted to. And uh, it doesn't look like the trikes can get through our fence, which will keep the yard a little bit cleaner. If y'all have some extra ideas for the things out in the field, let me know. I, I would really enjoy to hear what you guys think for maybe the little courtyard area. But that is going to be it. We might tame one of these guys when we come back we'll try to get storage sorted out as well wow. and maybe even get into an adventure too but that's going to be it for today thank y'all so much for watching guys i hope y'all enjoyed it this is uljin and squishy signing off wow. and we'll see you next time